for three days it has been. Jesus has gone from whipping boy to risen king. This is a journey like no other man has seen, the one that has led to me being released. A week back it all begins. Jesus welcomed into town like a king, but he's still doing things so differently. He's on the back of a donkey. And suddenly things changed. The crowd shouting king turned away. Then came the day that Judas betrayed. Then came the day mankind betrayed. Jesus was arrested, but on what charge? Pilate couldn't find one, so he sent him to Herod. But still he could find no wrong in him. They could see he was free from sin. But instead of being freed, the crowd called for him to bleed, to be hung on a cross like a thief, to be nailed to a tree. But where does this involve you and me? This isn't how we would have had it be. We weren't there that day, we didn't see. The people he came to save inflict agony. Not content just to kill him, the Romans seemed to find it thrilling. With a robe, a crown of thorns and a whipping, he received a remorseful beating. We had a role in this story. We had a crowd shouting, crucify him. We are Barabbas, the one who went free. We are the deserving, murdering, scheming ones, full of sin. What we do to him now is no worse, but it's no better either. We're happy to stand in church and say, I'm a believer. But if we're honest with ourselves, we get fooled by the deceiver. He tries to lie, to steal, and to ruin love. But this cannot be done. The new covenant cannot be overcome. It is finished, it is done, it is finished. Love has won. And I know that with each and every nail that went through him into that rail is a reminder that he will never fail. His grace will always prevail. To put this in a bite-sized chunk, it's love. Not like I love my new car or I love that new song. This is more love than a mother and a father have for their daughter and son. It's more than a husband for his wife. Jesus literally gave his life. For me, Barabbas won, and you, Barabbas too. We are underserving, but we are still chosen. Because of him, sin's power is frozen, but it only works if we are open. If we accept what he has given, what he has finished. Doesn't it hit you there to think for three days he ceased living? For me and for you, he took a beating. For me and for you, that would be humiliating to take that from the people you came to save. But not my will, but your own, he prayed. For me, Barabbas won, and you, Barabbas two. We are undeserving, but still we are chosen. Because of him, sin's power is frozen. But it only works if we are open. If we accept what he has given, what he has finished. Doesn't it hit you there to think for three days he ceased living? For me and for you, he took a beating. To me and to you, that would be humiliating. To take that from the people that you came to save. But not my will, but your own, he prayed. And the important part is that he overcame. After three days, he rose from the grave. Because of this, we are saved. Our unearned, undeserved prize is his undying grace. He was reborn in the same clothes he wore in the manger. Born for a second time, but in far less danger. God's plan had taken Jesus from a baby to a loving, life-giving, life-changing saviour. And he did it in a cave. A pretty understated way to proclaim that I now live again. I was dead, but I'm now alive. And it's not just me who has got new life. This gift is for all to receive. The only request is to simply believe, to accept that you have been freed by the loving creator of all of us, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus.